This is the update on our the seeds that we bought from Tractor Supply. Well, this is the 50 that we put in just wet paper towels. And I guess it's been about a week. So as you can see, we have got a uh, hundred percent germination rate on these. So pretty pretty good. For twenty dollars for twenty pounds of sunflower seeds, we got a hundred percent germination rate. That video was five days ago. We're gonna go out into the field and see what we've got out there, but just to show you the sunflower seeds are pushing up the bag inside here uh, that, that we showed, if I can get this out without completely destroying them. But just to show you how much they've sprouted, how much more they have sprouted in, in five days, it's pretty, pretty impressive. <laughs> They're actually standing up uh, off of the the paper towel so this gives you an idea of, of how much they have have gone up and grown just in f well five days since we shot that video so that's uh, probably about two weeks uh, growth so let's go out and see what we're seeing out in the field with the video with um, the seeds out there so what we've got out here and this is the patch that was chicken manure and some of the composted uh, wood mulch or wood chips and in this area this four foot by eight foot area we've got 25 seedlings coming up sunflower seeds coming up plus or minus there's a few others starting to pop up so right now we're at about 50% germination rate in the actual beds. Uh, some of them doing better than others. Actually, the bed down here, um, this is just the chicken manure and it's about the same, 20 some seedlings coming up. But just the dirt itself in this one has roughly about the same, maybe a little bit less, 21 seedlings out of the 50 that we put in here. So, uh, We'll keep updating about this and seeing how it goes. Certainly within the next week, uh, by next week, we should see, because uh, we're trying to water every day, keep the seedlings, uh, the seeds damp. So hopefully what we'll see is whether we get closer to 100% germination rate in these beds and then start to see if there's any difference in how the seedlings are coming up. But now what we're gonna turn energies to is more stuff with honeybees. Uh, we've gotta build some boxes, new hive bodies, and some medium honey supers uh, because our the hives, the swarm, which we'll show you that we caught recently in a video, we put them into, we had eight frames with foundation and they have already drawn out almost drawn the, the comb out on those frames almost completely so we've got to get a new hive body on there so we're going to bring you along show you uh, what we've been doing well this past week and what we're going to be doing today we're in the shop and we have got to put together eight more of these uh, today so for a total of nine we did this one already uh, one thing I wanted to add and say was we thought, we hoped we would save some money building these components ourselves, but the reality is when it's all said and done, uh, to build one of these deep hive body boxes, for example, you use a one by 12 by six foot board, which is gonna run you about $15. But Brushy Mountain sells unassembled hive bodies already cut and pre-drilled to put together at the end for a little over $17. So for about $2 more per box, uh, you're getting it already cut and eliminating all the labor for cutting, well, ripping the board, cutting all of these joints, and also cutting these uh, rabbit joints or where the frames are gonna sit down inside of here. All of that is pretty, uh, I mean, it's time consuming to, to sit there and cut that, and I don't know uh, if, I mean, we've made 10 of these and I think how long it took to cut all those, I don't know that we saved money. Uh, of course, we put them together. I'd like to think that, uh, well, I wanted to say on some of these, the quality is probably better. On others, our jig got a little bit messed up. And on something like this, these cutting these finger joints, if that jig gets off just a little bit, it'll cause problems and is not quite as tight. So, I don't know, long term, we may end up just buying uh, buying unassembled hives components 
in larger numbers and put them together. But what I wanted to show you now was have Isaac talk about the jig that he made that really made putting these together, assembling them, go much faster. So when we're trying to build these um, hive body, these deep hive bodies, um, once you get it, well, you have to glue it up and then screw it together. And getting it square is very hard. So usually we would be using the speed square and just putting it in all four corners and using like 20 of these clamps <laughs> to just hold it together and pull it tight and let it sit overnight. And we can only use all the clamps for one hive body at a time. So then I thought just to make a little mini frame on a piece of plywood that you could set in a hive body in and it would already be square. Genius. Uh, so much more efficient and easier because you know when you put this thing together, it's already square. So excellent idea, bud. Great. Uh, very time time saving to do this this way because you can drop it in and then screw it together and you know it's already square. So, all right, back to assembly. We've got to put all of those together. So we've got a total of, well, nine more deeps and then we got to put all of those supers together. So lots to do. But got 10 of these glued and screwed together. It's time to go eat some lunch. Come back and put the medium honey supers together. Then we've got to cut the handholds in these and uh, we're gonna brand them and then we'll start finish thing, finishing them. So let's go eat. Have the three wood pieces, well actually four, but this goes on the bottom, this is the top, and then these two are the sides. Okay. So what, what I'm just going to do is take the top first and then just put glue on either side. And then take the right side of it and just kind of fit it in. And it's kind of tight, so I have to tap it in. So then we're going to take the plastic, which I guess is plastic and wax coated. So it smells like wax, but um, yeah. So I'm going to put this in this little groove and then kind of put the glue on here. Just kind of get it on both sides. I could take the little piece, and this is kind of a hard part because fitting the wax or the plastic into the little groove on top while trying to hammer it down to get it to fit is kind of difficult. Staples in right here, and we're putting them in on the sides because on the top, well, one our staples aren't long enough, and it just didn't. On the bottom right here, there is here. Look right here. There's that little piece coming up in the middle, and this staple would probably split that. So we're just putting them on the sides because it's a lot easier. We're finally out uh, to the actual hive. This is the swarm we caught, or I should say that uh, Chantel and Isaac caught just 11 days ago. And we stuck these in here with frames with just foundation. And just to show you how busy they have been, look at all that drawn out comb. I mean, these are on outside frames and they have drawn out all that comb in just 11 days and storing nectar and pollen, incredible. All right, let's see if uh, 
get inside to the middle. We've got to add, obviously, because they have drawn out comb all the way out on all these frames. So we want to see if see if they got any brood. If she's uh, lots of pollen. Look, be doing a waggle dance. So lots of pollen on here. Um, lots of different colors of pollen, really beautiful. And tons of nectar. That's incredible. They have drawn out that much comb in just 11 days. So that's why we were in a hurry to get new all right, let's see if we see any. Yep, there are eggs in the bottom. I don't know, Isaac, if you can zoom in on those, but you can see eggs, tiny eggs in the bottom of some of those cells. You can get the light to shine down in there and zoom in on it or not, but. So she is laying eggs already in 11 days. We're gonna set another hive body on here <coughs> that we just built. A deep hive body and a honey super. So make sure that these are straight. <coughs> so on here. All right, that is excellent. They are going, going strong. I'm gonna take this entrance reducer off too because they are obviously strong enough and doing well enough that they don't need this on here. That last video was six days ago. A lot has happened since then, which if you watched the previous video we uploaded, uh, explains what has happened and why it's took why it has taken us so long to get a video uploaded about all that we've got going on out here I can tell you this that uh, since then the sunflowers out in the field where we're doing the the trying to build soil the no-till soil and the test plots we've had about at this point about a 60% germination rate on the seeds that are out there so need to make a decision what we're gonna do hopefully that'll happen Maybe this week we'll till and get seeds into the ground out there. Uh, lots of other projects we got to get going on. Um, we are, what is the old adage? I, I think it's a Norwegian adage that you should have all your firewood stacked and split by Easter. We have, uh, we have missed on that. So we've got a lot of firewood that we need to get cut and split uh, along with, well, an endless list of projects that just keep going. Hope everyone is well. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next video whenever that gets up because I want to say it's this is the busiest time of year for me at work with school as we are in the run up to the end of the school year and graduation. So we'll try and get things uploaded as we have time. Until then, take care and God bless.